All right, and we're in the game now. Then we are at the. Oh. Okay. No, not that button. Oh man, why did that happen? What button? There's, don't don't even worry. It's fixed now. <laughs> I forgot. I can't use Alt commands when I'm streaming with XSplit because it likes to cycle through scenes, and I'm like, oh please, please don't hit that scene. Okay, good. <laughs> didn't. There's a couple scenes right, but, the layout. Uh, we just. Used... Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, I just saw it on the stream. And yeah, there it is. All right, but yeah, bands are coming through now. So this is going to be game two: Wine and Cheats versus Clueless in the. Dominion televised finals. So far, Clueless is leading the series 1-0, and we have bands coming out. So we see Janna and Karma both being knocked out. Both good support champions, both great mage casters. Just a lot of damage and utility they bring to the team. Malzar being knocked out from Wine and Cheese. They're gonna they they don't want half hearted playing that Malzar after seeing what he can do with the amount of damage. Malkai now being knocked out. Tank standard tank band. They're you're going to see a Maokai and a Leona ban most likely during these games. Unless, for some reason, the teens decide to leave it open or they, when they leave it open, they have a counter to it. Going to kick out Maokai as well. Two more bans left in the game that actually has bans. Leona? Are we going to see J4? Are we going to see Zyra? Are we going to see... Yep, there's J4. We see that Zyra pick over here. Gonna be what's happening here. We'll find out. Yeah, now we do see. There's oh, the Alistar highlight. Alistar. Yeah. Alistar gets taken right away. So that leaves not that many tanks left open, unless well, Vi is still left open, but not many people build their that tanky. Braum is also open, but I don't know how many of them have a substantial amount of experience on that champion. And then there's Nautilus, but that's no one really plays him over here. They could do. They could pick Gragas, even though the patch came in and his W now costs mana, and then they removed some of his Q damage, and I don't know what else they did to Gragas, making thinking that they ruined him. It just. He's still a strong tank overall, and now we do see that. Whoops, my drink dropped. But anyways, we do see half-hearted highlighting the Urgot, and we're gonna. I'm wondering what BB's gonna pick. Maybe we see the vein again, or we're gonna see something else for BB. But the Urgot being highlighted, gonna be a lot of damage coming in from him. Lots of overtime. His position reverser, great use to pick someone out, and Lux now being taken. So BB taking the Lux. I'm not sure who on that team plays Lux. Maybe. It's going to be BB himself, or it's going to be um, maybe Half-Hearted. Maybe he's going to play the AP Mage. Who knows, but Lux has a lot of AoE damage, especially in the early fights up at the Windmill. Her E will be, uh, I believe that's Singularity Light. Yeah, uh, she will deal a lot of damage. Plus, her auto attacks will proc it or anyone else's auto attacks, and she just provides a lot of utility for the team. Krog highlighting the Mal uh, not Malkai, <laughs> Wukong now, and Fitsuki taking the Zyra. Seems to be taking the Zyra. It's kind of surprising they, Zyra got so far before being picked. Yeah, I'm surprised that they... Seems like Wine and Cheese is going to take the same combo over again. They're going to take the Zyra, they have the Alistar. They're going to just make a t minor adjustment with the Wukong and take something else um, in place of Pantheon. Oh god, that was loud. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, I should put my drink over there. But yeah, anyways, Wukong, just a lot of damage. Cyclone, providing a lot of CC, especially with Zyra's uh, Strangle Thorns knocking up and the zone pressure. If we saw last game, BB had a tough time early on thanks to Practice Yellow Zyra, since it provided so much zone um, potential. What is that? We've only seen like two zillions. We've seen Pooter Zillion, we've seen one person play like actual mage zillion in the game. I like that highlight. Zillion Zillion's a pretty strong pick. I mean that ultimate of his just does it, a lot of damage. Well well it just the revives someone. Nice. Uh it, it brings back someone into life. But pretty much using that and on like a carry, uh I believe they're gonna Yeah, they're going for Heavy, heavy protect like the Urgot comp 
from what it seems like unless that ergot is gonna go in the bottom lane or wolfer is gonna take that zillion bot zillion bot can work just pushes like away have people's bottom again because of his position in the pick order I think that they're gonna throw him down there mm -hmm. and it's gonna be a babysit ergot comp because zillion you know hey you know he brings someone back to life he's gonna have that movement speed does some damage so probably gonna see some straight up mage zillion which would be really nice yeah he's gonna provide a lot of damage and plus if he builds enough CDR, he's going to be able to get his ultimate off twice during a team fight. I believe, yeah, at level 2, 40% CDR, you combining that with your rewind ability on Zillion, you're able to get your um, ultimate off twice in one team fight. Heck, even level 3, it's um, level 3 ultimate, 40% CDR, rewind every time. Dude, you're just going to be able to get a lot of um, Zillion's ultimates off due to that. But we do see it's going to be the Rise and the Pantheon taking over from Wine and Cheese. So Pantheon going back on Krog. Afro Dynasty probably going to take the Alistar. And Pantheon going to Feed Ski. And Zyra taken by Practice Yellow. And Corval is going to take that Rise. So Rise in the bottom lane. So we're going to have potentially a Mage versus Mage matchup. Unless Peoples will pick something AD. I'm not sure if he's going to go back to the Yasuo. Yasuo does not do that well against uh, Rise. Um, I'm not, there's, hmm, what would be a good pot, bot pick? Oh, never mind, he answered my question. Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, just a great mage. Oh, never mind, Galio. Okay. <laughs> People Highly make match mind. resistance. Okay, Irelia is even good as well. Just uh, needs to get past the early poke. Man, he's not going to stop. He's going to keep What else is he going to highlight? Okay, so it's Galio, Irelia. Oh, taste the Galio. Actually, Galio. Cool. So the Galio pick is actually really good for him. Oh. What is, what? Oh, it's going to be What's Wolfer. Going on? I think, yeah, Peoples is going to take that Zillion up top, and Wolfer is going to take the Galio at bot. So we're going to see Wolfer's Galio against Corval's Rise. And both of them, they're mainly um, not, they don't have that much burst damage since Wolfer will have will be able to sustain, but Corval will be able to sustain at 6. Uh, but looking at the team comps, you have sort of a Protect the Urgot comp, comp coming in for clueless meanwhile for wine and cheese they have more of the well-rounded team comp where they're looking for fights at windmill they're looking for fights in the jungle they're just looking for that zone control they have more of a control comp compared to uh clueless's protect the ergot comp so it's going to come down to how well each team can execute both their main comp strengths But I do like the Blitzcrank. The Blitzcrank is going to be really interesting to watch, especially early on, since the hook and the speed that he gets with um, Overdrive and the um, Rocket Grab, it's going to be able to grab a lot of pick potentials, and it's going to turn a fight early on and maybe even force an early revive from someone on Wine and Cheese. We haven't seen a lot of Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank has appeared off and on competition, and the thing with Blitzcrank is there's so many different ways to build Blitzcrank. You can build a, like, tanky, like, supporty Blitzcrank. You can build a AD fight Blitzcrank. You can build an AP bursty Blitzcrank. There's a lot of different ways that you can swing that champion. You can pretty much build Blitzcrank anyway and just deal a lot of damage. Heck, I remember um, playing one game in the normals, and they had an AP Blitzcrank, and all he did was walk up to me, DFG alt me and I'd already be at like one third of my health like I and I had zero MR so probably yeah that's the reason why but also even if I did he's just AP Blitzcrank the scaling of the AP ratios on his skills are is a lot especially on his ultimate look at these two columns it's I've seen a couple characters we don't usually see versus you know couple of characters that we usually do see. Uh, I like this Panth Wukong combo. Those are two champions that work very well with each other. And uh, Zyra and Ali, we've seen, they're both really good. We have not witnessed a lot of Rise in a while. And I space out my words there to kind of give me time to think. It's a little bit of a caster trick. Rise, really good in the bottom lane, but his ranges are very short. At one time, Rise was actually a very heavily banned bottom lane champion, though. 
But you know, as time and changes have passed, he has not seen the popularity that he did back in 2011. Now, seeing Corval using Rise, he's a very skilled player, so you know, we're going to see some stuff from him. But Rise's weakness has always been he lacks, a, he lacks an escape, and his ranges are short, usually putting him in the, th in the threat range of th whoever he happens to be going up against. And if he does end up going up against Wolfers Galio, then that's a really icky matchup for him to get into because Galio loves magic resistance. Rise hates magic resistance. No? It's going to be back and forth, especially with Rise and Galio. But Peoples, with that zillion, if he does get enough CDR, he's going to be able to revive two people. And th that's going to be troublesome, especially since wine and cheese they rely on bursting someone fast really quick and then using their and just wiping the rest of the team if they burst someone really quick and all of a sudden zillion just ults um that person being bursted and he's able to come back to life it's not going to be fun for wine and cheese since they're going to be using most of their sp uh, spells to just take down that one per target We are going to go into the loading screen now for the finals of Demand Televised number four. This is going to be Clueless up against Wine and Cheese, or rather Wine and Cheese versus Clueless. I'm looking at the order that is on the screen here. And introducing these two teams for this potentially last game of the night, Wine and Cheese's team. Practice Yellow playing as Zyra, the Feed Ski playing as Pantheon, Krog playing as Wukong, Afro Dynasty playing as Alistar, and Corval playing as Rise. I am one half of your commentators. I am Gandare, and casting with me is. It's Gigi Bay, and we have Clueless, half hearted with Urgot, Lux being played by BB Pop, Blitz Krang rocking it with a Parkhurst, Wolfer taking that Galio, and Zillion, Groovy Zillion, rocking it by Peoples. So, I'm wondering, will it be Galio bot or will it be Zillion bot? Because both of them against Rise, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be a very interesting matchup, especially since Galio has the magic resist and Zillion also has the bombs to harass. But if we look at bot lane, it's going to be a very, very long, boring lane because there's not going to be much fighting, especially early on. But at top, on the other hand, it's going to be a bloodbath. Parker's with the Blitzcrank, BB with Deluxe, and Halfhearted with the Urgot, and Peoples with the Zillion. It's just going to be... there's going to be a lot going on. It's going to be tough to tell who's going to go where. Yeah, <laughs> looking at Twitch chat, yeah, the tears, everyone's crying. Urgot's crying at 87, a Parker's crying at 48, and Corval crying at 8. Corval, Level you know, of cry you know, here is really good right now. He, he, he's, he, he's holding it back. Corval's holding it back. He, he doesn't want to show his tears of joy. He's just Doesn't so he, happy that he has Triumphant Rise, man. Yeah, that is Whoa, a pretty I did something nice right. Skin. It's a really tough skin to obtain. Not even Rioters have that. That's the cool part. Riders should there. have it. No, they, they don't get that in their full unlock. They get everything else, though. Like, even the, like, you know, retired ones and stuff. Man. Both teams had... Yeah, sorry, Gigi, you can't... Your, your scheme at work for Riot to get Triumphant Rise, and we're going to have <laughs> oh, to come up with another way. Oh, Ooh. the hook just barely connecting. If it landed on Afro, that could have been bad, but a nice double pulverize coming in from Afro, and Feetsky... Yeah, just as I said, the, it's a blood buff at top. There's going to be a lot of damage going up, but... As you can see, Afro Dynasty just doing good. Shielding. Krog, nice shield from... Oh man, I, I can't even commentate this. There's so much going on. Fitsky does pick up the kill with that execute onto a Parker's. Parker's not popping to revive, but Blue Team does secure the Windmill, and now they're going to be forced back. And th this oh, top the comp... Shield? Up, oh, the no. shield? The flash. But this top comp coming in from Clueless is going to take a while to ramp up. They are fairly squishy compared to um, Wine and Cheese's comp, where they have a mix of tank as well as damage. BB forced mm -hmm. to flash out that plant, but Halfhearted coming in, he's going to pick up the return kill, I believe. 
Yeah, just one more Q from the Acid Hunter. Does pick up the kill. BB, does he land that? Nice oh, snare. Man. Lands onto Afro. Afro may go down. Yep, he goes down in the end. Really awesome opening game for Clueless to start things off here. Now they should uh, flip the windmill around. Just Wukong up there at the moment. And um, well, it looks like we're going to have... Uh, People's doing a little bit of farming over here, and Ergot's going to recall. It looks like they're not going to flip the windmill around. No, <laughs> against the Wukong, they're, it's going to be hard to push it. Right now, they're just stacking the wave. They have the mi next minion wave coming in. Once they have that big wave, they're this is, that play is actually really smart. Instead of going straight for the wind cap, they're going to bring up the minions and have them deal enough damage to the cap uh, itself. And Yeah, just like that, they were able to take it, and Parker's... Knocking up Fitsky. Fitsky taking down pretty low. Here comes Half-Hearted. Half-Hearted Zergon. He's doing enough damage. But here comes Afro. Nice use of the Pulverized Headbutt combo. Stops BB's ultimate from going off. And it's just looking bad for Clueless. But they're able to take the fight around. Oh, nice use of the People's Ultimate. Barely saving up Parker's. Gets the ult off. Parker's lives. Nice use of Stranglethorns. Knocks up three. Stops the caps. But Parker's is still going to chase. Gets the knock up. Will BB land... The all combo, but no, here comes Pantheon. Pantheon jumps in, but he's gonna jump in into the turret and does take it on people's half hearted, taking out really low. He has a bomb, bomb does go off, pick up the trade kill from the grave. And that was a bit. Oh, 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 crowd, he got him! Oh, but it wasn't enough. The exhaust just stopping him, and yeah, half hearted, you're in a pretty bad situation. You can poke him a lot, he's actually gonna get the kill. That was wow. enough. Wow. There we go. Now Clueless with a very good opening start to this game. That slow push in there into a nice team fight. I uh, got oh. in control of the window. Ton pop the he Galio pops his iron idol of the Durand. I almost said the root <laughs> down at bottom, and Corval picks up the return kill. I, I don't know. When I look at Galio, I think of the root sandstorm because of that one skin of his. I don't know. And plus the idol of. Du Durand, it's it sounds I think like Duran Duran. Yeah. Like the but band. anyways. <laughs> Half hour is gonna just... come down here. He's gonna break the uh the push down at the bottom. His presence alone will be like, oh well, we're not gonna push that. There's no got down here. Let's not mess with that. No, Afro Dynasty wants to prove me wrong, wants to mess with Half Hearted. Is he going to? No, he is going to potentially go for the recall now. Parker's a little bit of crowd control. BB hanging back, able to get the capture. And ooh, practice yellow snared oh. there. Slowed as well. Is BB gonna be able to get enough distance? Yes, looks like he will be just fine. Yeah, but now uh, Clueless is showing the power of their comp. This is this is what I mean by control. If they're able to control the map. This is gonna look good, especially the Azillion alt. The Azillion alt, nice alt, Lux alt. Lands onto two of them, but Parker's. Oh, he gets a knock up and ignite onto Fitsky. Does go down in the end due to Krog's Wukong, but is slowed. Yeah, Peoples on that zillion. He's he has right now 15%. Checking, he has 5% in mastery, so he has 20% already. And he's the moment he gets at 40%, his ultimate is going to be on a really, really short cooldown, especially with that rewind. Bottom part of the map, Corval and Wolfer having a little bit of a disagreement of sorts. Pantheon going to be dropping in down at the bottom part of the map, right in behind Wolf. So, Feats is going to go in. He's going to get that Aegis. He's going to take down Wolfer, but unfortunately, they still lose Rise in the exchange. Half hard to get the position reverse on Featsky, really using that armor to his advantage that he gains from using that. He's going to plow through Pantheon, moving on over to the tower. Rise coming back with the recall is going to be able to chase him away from that point. Up the top, Alistar with a fancy combo is able to take down Blitzcrank, and BB is just going to trip Afro and walk away. Yeah, down at bot, half hearted, already with that Mura mana. Wow. Seven minute Mura mana. That's fast. That is, that is really fast. Seven minute Mura mana, and he's already going to start building that damage. It's, it's not going to look at all. Nice hook onto Afro Dynasty from a Parker's up at the top windmill, but. Oh, Parker's, you're in a pretty sticky situation. You're going to be caught up, CC'd. Peoples, he wants to get the ult off. He's going to try and use it onto a Parker's and bait them to use the damage. He pops the ult. Oh, nice trade, nice kill onto <laughs> Wukong. And Wukong does go down in the end. And Parker's 
just tanking up Vitsky's damage and was able to take they were able to take him down. Oh, flash in from BB Pop. BB Pop using Lux's what was it? Lucent Singularity and picks up the kill onto a Parker's and yeah. Oh man, did nice you flash. see that flash that was, over the snare? That flash, well timed, flashes over the snare and gets the kill. This 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 column from Clueless is just they're 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 getting going, especially half hearted. Eight, zero, and five has the murder mana, has the brutalizer, working towards probably the last whisper. Oh dear. Let's uh, pretend we didn't see that. Darude. <laughs> I know Darude not connecting at all, unfortunately. You see Wolfer literally running away as fast as possible from that. Backs off over to his tower. He does have allies here to help him. Uh, Corval taking some damage there from Lux. Lux chipping him down with that uh, popping the passive with her auto attack. Yeah, Krog being knocked up, and he's going to go down in the end. Wolfer picking up the kill on that. After his... We won't mention it, the the rude the rude the rude mishap. But anyways, back at top, they were able to take down Half Hearted, shut down. I believe went to actually I'm not sure who did that go to. Went to Afro Dynasty, so Afro gonna have a big chunk of gold in, and all Corvo gets oh. hooked in. I mean uh, grabbed it's in by out of the Optic Blast though. Yeah, there's a wall. What? <laughs> I I, I yeah. so much action. It's like. A, you can't this stop. Better it's than like, TV. Yeah. BB is going to be taken down. Krog is going to get hit by Wolfer there. Still in full-on retreat mode because a Parker's health is dangerously cheap. A Parker's, what are you doing? Oh, they they Zillion sent a Parker's up the bomb and he delivered it to Rise. But now people seems to be in a really bad spot. BB coming down. They still can't quite get Corval. He's barely alive. Aw, oh, man. Krog, down there. Yeah, but <laughs> Krog waiting for the ultimate does pick up the kill and he's working towards the cap. Meanwhile, Wolfer tanking up as much damage as he can. Oh, here comes Krog. Krog I don't know. Fitsky on that Pantheon. He's going to jump in onto no one. Nearly takes a tower shot, but this. They, they, they've swapped sides. They're completely surrounded. Never mind. Fitsky, he's not going to go in for the kill. He's going to take the quest. He's going to neutral it and it's going to force Clueless back. They have to stop him. But here comes Half-Hearted on that Pantheon. He's looking for blood. He's looking for it. He's ready for some kills. Is he going to get the charge? He wants to land the charge. Nope, does not land the charge. But here comes a, par a Parker's. Does take a lot of damage. Nice snipe from Lux. Picks up the kill onto Practice Yellow. And Corval does get uh, snared up. Gets a little bit of damage. But Rise just already having the Rod of Ages. Working towards the Odin's Veil is going to give him enough tankiness to survive both uh, the magic damage and the physical damage coming in from Half-Hearted. And Afro Dynasty has discovered Half-Hearted. They put a bunch of hurt on him right away. Idle gets used there. Does connect onto Krog. They do get the kill, but Corval, Corval is the, their target. They don't want to get Afro. Afro is going to be tanky and he's going to uh he's going to get away but Corval on the other hand does go down in Afro never mind he's going to go down half hearted he's trying to kill half hearted he's looking for it but does not get the kill the mer mana oh oh no oh no oh no oh, so close half hearted barely able to survive there all five down the bottom lanes means Pinsky's kind of free to just do whatever the heck he wants at the top so he's going to go up there and take the window completely uncontested Lux yeah. might get there in time to ult we'll see if BB can do it or not. BB's getting in range. Uh, yeah, he gets in range, but just not enough time. He gets a neutral. Fitsky is gonna just walk away. Get the. Ca he's gonna. He's gonna stall out BB. Because meanwhile, down at bot, Parker's is running for his life. Knocks up Afro Dynasty, but Afro Dynasty. To safety. He he doesn't, he doesn't care. He's a cow. He's gonna go in. There, there. It's just a lot of damage. Peoples is now the target. Never mind. He gets hooked in by. A Parker is a Parker, so I think you made a mistake with that hook. Oh, wait, wait, the people's just, people's just flashed in due to bomb, double bomb onto Afro. Oh, no, he flashes in to actually get the revive onto a Parker's, and a Parker's does go down after the revive completes. Krog gets burned. Oh, that damage from BB Pop does enough damage just to take him down. Meanwhile, Wolfer in practice having a little bit of a disagreement. Corvo, he, he wants to get in on this action as well. It's, uh, it's just a big uh -oh. fight. BB 
gets exhausted, Corval gets exhausted, exhausted everywhere. This is gonna be Stranglethorns used onto a half heart, a half heart it does get knocked up, but does not go down in the end. Corval, on the other hand, is ignited, pops the ult, he's trying to do enough damage, but the ignite burn, just not enough. One gust, and it just helps secure the kill for Wolfer. Lots and lots of skirmish fighting all over the map. Half heart is gonna be able to take down Feedski. I don't know if he wants to mess with Afro Dynasty or not. Looks like he does want to go for that. Yes, success. Double kill for half hearted. Oh, oh, the flash swap puts Krog in an awful, awful place. Krog but I think Nimbus that just through. cost his life. Yeah. That was a nice opener, but that Nimbus out to airborne combo was a very good response from Krog. He does get taped to Blitzcrank's fist, unfortunately, and gets sent back to some platform. Oh, he's, well, Feedski knew he was out. He knew it. Yeah. The Parkers would have just hit him with the rocket grab after four seconds. The anyway. double, the double. Oh, oh no! Go. Practice yellow. Parkers, he wants this. He wants this. He's gonna, he's gonna go for this. Does get the knock up. Nice kill, thanks to BB Snipe. Afro, on the other hand, he does get the knock up. Parkers staying down pretty low. Uh, he, this, it's just gonna be a constant back and forth. Wolfer, he's in a nice position. Uh, Darude, he uses Darude. He, he catches three damage. people with it. He catches all four members in it, but Krog goes down with the bomb, and Half-Hearted is... They're, they're doing enough damage to add Parker's landing these key hooks is doing... is helping them, but Feetsky... I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's just... I think he's just dancing. Yeah, he's dancing. Yep, BB, BB doing enough damage. Corval takes it. Oh, speed up. Peoples wants to get the double bomb. He wants to get it. Speeds BB up. Oh my gosh. Oh, BB's alive! BB oh, is actually alive. 113 barely. hit points. Top has gone neutral in minions while all of this was going on. There's just a lot, a lot of damage being dealt. Half-hearted, uh, 14 and 2. He's getting a kill every single minute. He already has that last whisper. He has a Mura mana. He has some CDR. He's looking for the Black Cleaver. He's just going to be shredding through everyone on... Wine and Cheese's team, and it's just a lot of damage. One more shot, we'll pick up the kill, so he has his 15th kill of the game. Uses position reverser, gets cancelled actually. I think he cancelled it himself. I think he might have move cancelled that one. Yeah, he move cancelled that. Krog, Krog pops to revive and is chasing back. A Parkers, you're in the middle of the team, has the mana shield. Oh, Afro, you do, you do go down in the end. Krog, on the other hand, does ult one shot, just one shot. Never mind, goes down to the dot. Practice Yellow is now going to be the next target. Peoples, on the other hand, just dancing, laughing at Half-Hearted. Half-Hearted just going to take some pot shots on him. Oh, flashes away. He, they're, they're just going to have their dance time. But it's a 4-1 to one cap, and it seems like Wine and Cheese, I, I believe they've given up. I don't I, think they can really get out of this. I mean, when you're at, like, a few seconds left... I mean, they don't have enough time to capture anything from here, so just kind of fighting it out. Oh, Alistar's all cancel. Alistar's oh, right, canceled. yeah, he hit a... He did yeah. hit that during it. Yeah, that's... There, there we go, okay. Half so hard did just fine. His control was great. Our bad. Oh, people's with the not, uh, revive. And, well, that was game. We saw Darude doing pretty well down at bot. But half-hearted, 18-3 and 13 on that Urgot. BB, 16-2 and 19. Wow. Take a look at the post game real quick before we get out of here for today. Clueless going to take that 2 0 victory. Wolfer, the answer to your question is because we accidentally said Idol of Darude. <laughs> that's, that's what happened there. He asked the question of why is Galio Darude? <laughs> Yeah, idol. Yeah, it, his ultimate idol, idol of Durand looks like idol of Darude. I said Darude by accident, and I didn't even realize it. But Sometimes I'm, I'm as a commentator, you just run with the joke. I'm, I'm gonna keep with it though. It's gonna. I think I. I think I'm gonna use it. It's. It's funny. I like it. BB finishing out that game sixteen two. He had a good game there. Half hard eighteen three. Both of them rocking out pretty hard there. And uh, Peoples with a real nice 23 assists. Pretty solid. Let's take a look at the damage dealt to champions. Uh, Urgot way in the lead at 32k. And the Graveyard Hero 
Is he Zyra? And that is all we have for you today, folks. We yep. have run out of we have run out of video game to give to you. So come back next week and uh, check out the tournament once again. You know, Man Man uh, has been doing some awesome stuff so far. So uh, keep it up, folks. Keep watching the show. Keep competing. Keep running the show. And uh, man, give me a reason to come and hang out with you guys because this is like this is this is the highlight of my week is being able to hang out with you guys in the chat, watch some really high level Dominion, and uh, otherwise have a good time with you folks. Um, Gigi Bay, where can people find you on the internet? Well, uh, firstly, you can get, you can uh, follow me on Twitter at Merc underscore, I believe. Yeah, that is my Twitter handle. You guys can follow me there on Twitter. Um, for when I stream everything, uh, I, I usually tweet out random stuff as well, so you guys can follow me there. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash silence lol. It's still under my old name, but I do stream. I can finally stream now. I'm actually happy. I can stream again once uh, without any lag or anything. I've mainly streamed Summoner's Rift, but occasionally I'll go and play some Dominion. Also, if you look on the Twitch page of this channel, Dominion Televised, you can see my team, Rose Flyer. Um, you guys can follow up with the team on there. I we're still competing right now we're just taking a little bit of a break um <laughs> Saku, thank you for not being able to commentate during the action gg <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like that my Eng my english is i want to i want to clip that out as a sound bite because that's yeah. that's probably one of the funniest funniest <laughs> moments we have my, when i when i try to talk fast i can't talk fast unless i like get used to it but anyways you guys can support rose flyer my team and um just uh help us out um we've landed two new sponsors we represent a company now but uh right now it's not looking good uh i'm on the sub list even though i'm on the sub i'm still an analyst for the team so you guys can still check them out uh it'd be great to support them also uh sign up for future attorneys guys i want to see more teams come out have fun send this out to your friends play like just have fun. Play some Dominion. Enjoy it on a Saturday. It's really good. Uh, what about you, Gander? Where can these guys can find you? You guys can find me on the internet. Um, click my name in the chat for my Twitch channel. As I stream here on Twitch, you know, Vato underscore Gander. And uh, I, I play MechWarrior Online, League of Legends, Dominion. You'll catch me playing Hearthstone and Infinite Crisis occasionally. And sometimes you'll see me and some of my friends playing console games, uh, you know, through a capture card and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different content that comes out on my channel. Uh, so, you know, give that a follow if you like me and my media and you want to check out some more of it. Also, uh, youtube.com slash VatoClan. If you want to see videos from past Dominion tournaments. You know, my, my clan website is slowly turning into an archive of all things Dominion. And then there's some non-Dominion stuff on there as well. Uh, if you want to check any of that out. So that's the place to go for it. On Twitter, at VatoClan, I try to only tweet when it's relevant, so I will not clog up your Twitter feed with pictures of my lunch and stuff like that. I, I do really, really try to make sure I only tweet relevant stuff. And uh, for this tournament, though, guys, if you want to watch the show next week, make sure you follow this Twitch channel right here, twitch.tv slash Dominion Televised. Uh, give it a follow so that way you know when the channel goes live. Come back here next week. Tell your friends to uh, come out and compete. It's free to play in. If you were going to play Dominion anyway, why not have a chance at winning some RP? Maybe get your game cast by us. You could be famous on the internet. But that is all the game that we have for you today, folks. So... We will see you next time. Thank you all for coming out. Have a good rest of your weekend. See you later, Summoners.